Layer opacity, defined between 0.0 and 1.0, is used as a merge factor when it has to be blended with another image. In a layer-based compositing software like Autograph, this secondary image is usually the result of the stack underneath, and this factor is used by blend modes operations to define layer weight in blending. Opacity acts as a multiplier of the layer's existing alpha channel. The two are combined before the merge operation. You have three ways to modify a layer's opacity. On the layer's mainline with the blend mode opacity dual controller, by unfolding the layer parameters in the stack, and by inspecting the layer in the properties panel. Opacity can only be animated in the stack or the properties panel using the keyframe pie menu or by adding a generator to this parameter. A layer's main line just offers quick access to this value by replicating it to quickly set the transparency without unfolding the layer. Unlike other layer-based compositing software, a layer in Autograph doesn't have any in or out points. The existence of a layer is managed by the visibility keys, which are accessible in the dope sheet part of the timeline. This parameter can be animated just like any other. It can only have two states, on or off, allowing the layer to appear, disappear, and reappear several times on the same line. Visually, this may make you think of clips from an editing software, but it's not the same. If you offset a layer over time, which will modify its time offset parameter, all of the visibility keys will be moved too. By default, when you add a layer in a composition, two visibility keys are created. If the source referenced by the layer has a specific range, like for movies or image sequences, a first visibility key, on, will be added at the first image, and a second one, off, at the last image. If the source doesn't have a range, like in the case of a still image, a generator, or even if there's no source at all, like when you add a null layer to the composition, the two visibility keyframes will be added at the beginning and the end of the current composition. The state of the last visibility keyframe will define the visibility of the layer to infinity. To give you an example, let's add a 10 second movie to a 30 second composition. Two visibility keyframes have been created, one at the first frame of the composition at zero seconds and one at exactly 10 seconds. If the last visibility key is set to off, the layer will be invisible from this point to infinity. Now let's delete this second and last keyframe. The last and only existing key is set to on. As you can see, the layer now exists infinitely. If your source is loopable and you've set the reader's after parameter to loop, that's the perfect trick to have a loopable logo or background without worrying about its duration. If you delete all keyframes, the parameter's visibility state in the stack will define the entire existence of the layer. Visibility keys can be used in correlation with the overall visibility eye, which is accessible in the layer's mainline. 